Hello and good evening everybody, this is Atheric777, today back with another little Atheric Locals production and I would like to talk with you about how to change the connectors on lithium polymer batteries or LiPos or batteries in general in a safe way and the reason is I was again at the airfield and I talked to people that do this already since a lot of time and I just realized that, uh, well, they do it in a very danger way and so I thought, well, why not doing a video while I do it by myself um, while I change some connectors. So here we go. There you see it. What I do is, first of all, I just take away the silicone wire uh, or I just remove a little bit of the silicone at one cable, not both at once, because otherwise you could have very fast a short circuit and you don't want to have that with when you use the LiPo because they could really explode uh, in front of you or start to burn. So uh, here you see it. It's very important uh, just to do one cable by time and um, to use a lot of soldering wire. It's uh, not enough just to put a little piece on there, but you really see uh, you have to move the cable to get it really into it. The second step I do is I prepare the connector and there you see them here. Don't save with the the iron, uh, the iron wire, I don't know how you call it in English, but you know what I mean. And yeah, of course, don't forget then the heat shrink because uh, that uh, could end up that you have to dissolve it again. So here you see it, it's very important to make it really hot. I can feel it there, you saw it on my finger. Uh, it really needs uh, to be connected very, very well and strong. So make sure to prepare first the cable, uh, then the connector, and then using a bit of soldering and putting it together. Uh, here you see I just do also uh, a second battery here, you can see it again how I do it. You know, first going down, moving the cable around and be sure that you don't have these little wires standing away. Um, and I do always two batteries or three batteries because in this way uh, the cable is cold again when I put on uh, the heat shrink. So that is the main reason. Or when you do just one battery you wait a bit. So here you see it again, just get this really hot until you, until you feel it in the fingers and make sure that you have a clean, really clean connection. Here I take again the first battery because now it's cold. So before you do the second wire, make sure to put the heat shrink on the connector. Here you see it. Because in this way you are sure that when you unplug uh, now the red cable, you will not put them together. As I told, very dangerous and you can burn your house down. So be sure to do that. So here we do it again. Preparing the second cable. And as I told, when you see these little cables um, or little wires standing away, don't cut them away because you need them. They are important uh, to get the amps through the battery. So you see a bit of work, making it clear, clear work, and then you use the second one. Here, now you have to start, yeah, now you have to watch out because you want to put a connector in a way that you don't have now the mass on the on the helping hand. You see that, otherwise you could have there a short circuit. So here make sure that the helping hand is connected on the connector when you hold it in this way where you want to plug the cable on, okay? Uh, don't use black in this case, but uh, make sure you have a free connector. And here we go, that's the same thing. Now in my case I did the second battery, but uh, you can wait a bit and then you put the heat shrink on it. Don't do it too fast, otherwise it will melt and then now uh, you have to do the work again. Alright, that was just a little video, I hope it can help some of the newcomers. I thank you very much for watching this. Uh, leave me a nice comment and come back soon. Bye bye.